Hi, this is Fee, and um, I've actually had a couple of thank yous to go out before I do this. So I've just completed Blue Eyed Tiger from Ever Moment, which was a 40 by 50. Um, but I want to do a big thank you to everyone that's been doing lives and drill with me. I have been drilling like mad lately, and I've gotten a few projects completed. Um, this one, uh, the Blue Eyed Tiger, I got from Ever Moment back in October. I was taking this to work on my very, very, very quiet nights. Um, I was able to work at this, at, you, to drill this at work. Um, so I do a, a little bit every two or three nights. Probably I do a little bit one night every five or six um, day so I didn't do that much but because I was doing other stuff um, but this one I was done doing at work so this is it this is stunning absolutely stunning it's got the gorgeous sparkle so that's 39 colors I wonder if you didn't go on um, so yeah so that's that's this guy and because you guys have been doing so many drill with me and lives I've been able to get to and complete quite a few diamond paintings lately and also get my uh, recordings all up to date and do some editing so yeah thank you everybody there I also want to do a big thank you to Stitcherista and Diamond Painting by Donnie thank you for tuning in and subscribing to my channel I don't even have 250 subscribers yet I'm not going out there getting subscribers um, but thank you, thank you, thank you for joining because um, I've been watching you guys since I first started diamond painting. So this, um, I'm going to do a breakdown, I'll do a um, high speed breakdown. Um, so I'll do a time lapse of breaking, breaking down the kit. But one thing I will say is this is ever moment. So the drills are near perfect. What I have discovered though, um, with, in relation to completing, what I've started doing is running the um, cover, a cover over top of it, and that has then given me the ability to actually pinpoint the slight ones. With every moment, not much actually sticks up, but this does help me without even looking, I can identify ones that have popped up a little bit or I haven't put right quite right into place. So that's just as a suggestion. Now with did I find anything there was one there. So just by doing that I found that I can pick up just those ones that are just slightly up. And this section here I would expect it a bit more because this is the section that I've just completed. And I presume you can hear the clicking okay so this is a section I've just completed and getting the roller on there I'm not hearing any crackling which most of my diamond paintings I hang up on coat hangers on skirt hand hangers or trouser hangers like that this one has been rolled and unrolled and rolled and unrolled so every time I've gone to work on night shift I've had this in the ever moment shoot so it's been constantly getting rolled and unrolled and I've had no issue with any popping drills the drills are fantastic I've just found another one where is it there ah, it's not get there we go little click um, so yeah, um, I have loved working on this one. There is, that's the junk out of it. So if I open that up, you'll see there is near on no junk. So that in itself is an absolute amazement for me. Um, so this is not my first ever moment completed, but this is my first ever moment I brought. Um, the other ever moment that has been completed is the big custom, the jetty, um, and I didn't do a full review on on 
what was left over or the quality of the drills because I didn't get it as a complete package anyway. Or I should, well, it was a complete package, but I didn't know what had been missing or thrown out, so I couldn't do a true comparison on that one. So now I'm going to go from here. I'm going to do the breakdown and we'll have a look at what we've got in quality of drills, and, um, quantity of drills, because that's one thing that always amuses me is how close I get to running out, because that's the good old fear factor of mine. I've been burnt once with running out of drills, so that's my big fear. So um, I'll be back to you shortly. I'm just going to do this really, really quickly, and um, I'll time lapse it as well. Okay, so de-kitted. I am ready for another diamond painting. <laughs> so another setup to come. Um, colours, there was nothing really that I nearly ran out of. There was, however, um, which one was it? I have one of the greys or browns. One of them just every time I poured them out, they clumped together. No, I can't find it. So I don't know whether that was because there was a residue from the last time I used those trays or not. So what I have started doing though is, oh, you probably saw me, I get there and actually use baby wipes to wipe it out to get anything out just in case there's any oils or anything um, has ended up in there. And then I actually use a dryer sheet. Um, with the hope that if there's any static, it helps remove the static before I put any more in. But all in all, my impression of this guy as a 40 by 50, he is perfect size, absolutely perfect size. And yeah, I, I've seen others that have been done that are smaller, but this is just, yeah, excellent size. So, um, Keep tuned for when I actually frame this. Um, depending on how I've got a special project running, depending on how that project goes, if that project goes well, this guy will be done exactly the same way. Um, if the project doesn't go well, you will see the project going not well. Um, whether it, you know, so you'll see whether it fails or not, uh, or all is good. But if it does go good, you will also see this one done the same way because I want this one done like that, if the first one works out. So thank you for watching. Um, I don't know whether you like watching me de-kit or not. Um, when I de-kit, I, I play Netflix movies and I just get into it and do it. It did take me about an hour to actually create the labels, label the plastic bags, um, uh, and all that. Now one thing I did, I don't know whether I've mentioned it before, I used to use the, the clear label so all you'd get, <laughs> that's cool I've got an eye looking at you, um, what I used to use is the clear label so what you just showed up as black ink. Um, if I grab one, no I don't have one loose, if, hang on I'll show you an example. So good example if you look at these if you're going to look at labels see how this one you can see better than this one so I would recommend if you're going to use the label maker 
the Dymo label maker, get the white with the black print or get the black with the white print because the clears, it just makes it a little bit harder to see as opposed to that one. So that's just a little suggestion or a hint um, if you go down the path of bagging up um, when you're, you're complete. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you stuck with me long enough that I, you get to the end of this. Um, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, dislike, um, and pop a comment on, so let me know how you feel about watching the deep kidding. And the music that I play for my time lapses, that's something new. Um, I like it, I don't know if anybody else does, so I wouldn't mind a comment on how, um, whether you like that, that music that I've got playing. So I will talk to you later and bye for now.